Hello everyone, and welcome to my Iron Meat playthrough. Ever since the first screenshots I saw on Twitter, I've been interested in this project. I played the crap out of the demo, even tried to do some no-hit run-throughs. Couldn't do the damn train level though, that was just too hard for me. Now, I wanted to break these videos up into individual levels. Most of them are going to be playthroughs from my streams, except for the first level. I was having some issues with stream quality at the time. As always, my videos are going to have time codes. In this case, there's one that will skip the intro cutscene here, and one that will take you right to the level's boss fight here, in case you want to go straight to dessert. Anyway, I hope you enjoy, and if you're interested in checking this out for yourself, the demo is still live on Steam. The game is also available on PS4, PS5, Xbox Series, and Xbox One, and Switch as well. Okay, let's check out Iron Meat. Now, I've already played through uh, to the airship stage. So we're going to go with my new favorite character, who I've called Sergeant Studley. Yeah, the sky stage is where I... My last stream stopped. I, was, I wasn't actually supposed to play this level, but I'm like, oh, I just, I want to see what it is. <laughs> Didn't make it to the boss fight though, so. But we're going to do the forest level over again because on stream I was having some issues. And all these levels are going to be played on hard. The game's not very big on dialogue. In fact, I don't think I've seen any dialogue up to this point. One thing I love about this game is the the character or the, the creature design, the enemy design. It's I can't imagine it's very easy to to create so many diverse looking creatures and enemy types with pixel art. Thanks, bud. All right, super machine gun right off the hop. Every time I grab a shotgun, it's it's like a, it's a cursed weapon for me. I never hold on to it for too long. So I'll see if I can carry this one for a while. The reason I picked up the beam weapon is because you'll get thrown another upgrade right here, so you get a super beam weapon.
Yeah, it's raining blood. So this is just two different speed projectiles, so just some fancy jumping. Should get you through without any problems. One thing I don't like about the beam weapon too much is that it is relatively weak compared to like the machine gun. And as you go through this level, these um, little fortresses or whatever start to be infested with bad guys. Whereas when you start off in the beginning, there's good guys giving you stuff. Just to show the how quickly everything is spreading. Oh shit! I hesitated. This one's easy. Just move, 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 and then jump backwards. So even though it launches four, after it's destroyed, those rockets just sort of go off into, I don't know, outer space. <laughs> Might as well. We never see them again. I don't usually pay attention to points, but I do in this game because 20,000 points gets you an extra life. Ooh, super shotgun. My favorite. I just never hold on to this for too long. Now, the shotgun's really going to help here. This is first stage, two different speed projectiles again. Here's where it's going to help. So I can still hit the tank in the vital bits. And it also helps here. But this tank, I remember seeing like the damaged version of this and thinking, holy crap, that looks cool. What's the story behind this? And then I learned about this game and I was like, okay, I'm invested. You've got a demo. Great. Played the demo, fell in absolute love with it. And I'm like, okay, I'm wishlisting that. <laughs> Actually, since I started streaming and, and content creation, this was like one of the first, oh, damn it. This is one of the first games that I wishlisted, actually. Yeah, that's it for the first level. <sighs> one life lost, damn it. All right. And now on to the first level that isn't in the demo, the tower level. <laughs> 